The Marvel Fanfare is a feast of unexpected and interesting musical stuff. It's a perfect fit for comic book movies, which might seem superficial at first, but really they're based on a literature, so there's a lot more subtlety and nuance in the characters than some might expect. So let's get into it. First off, is it major or minor? Well, it's obviously major, but it borrows some from minor as well. Right from the very beginning, when we start with this major chord, and then borrow the four chord from minor. And then as we go along, this B flat major chord you wouldn't expect in the key of G major, B flat is borrowed from G minor. And then in the second big section, we get this cool chordal figure. So that's a chordal kind of sound, which is neat. But let's get into the meter where the really cool stuff happens. Right from the very beginning, we're clearly in a duple meter because the bass is pounding do day do day do day do day. But then that's subverted in the next little section when the strings come in, they're in triple meter. Do da dee 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 do. So this section of the piece is multimetric. There's duple meter and triple meter happening simultaneously. And then we get these triplets in the trumpets. Ba -ba 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 -bum. And those triplets are within the duple meter section. Do, de, do, de, ba -ba 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 -ba. So that's another level of complexity and interest. But then something really cool happens when we get into this second section. All of a sudden the meter has opened up those duple meter microbeats from before, do day, do day, do day, do day, are now turning into triple meter microbeats. Do da di do da di do da di to do da di to do da di to do. Each macrobeat is now 50% longer because those duple meter microbeats have added a, a third microbeat. Now we're monometric. We're in triple meter and the macro beats are 50% longer than they were before. Until we get to this third and final section when the macro beats are reduced back to their original size, but this time there are only triple meter micro beats. This time the percussion has joined in with the melody instruments to drive home that it's do da di 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 do only triple meter. So we've gone from an opening section that's multimetric and duple and triple at the same time. To a middle section that's monometric, triple meter, but the macro beats are 50% longer than they were in the first section. To the final section, where the macro beats are reduced back to their original size, but it's only in triple meter. And on top of that, we have the cool little ambiguous harmonic things happening. This is all stuff that I got just from listening and moving to the music. This is not based on any kind of score analysis or anything like that. So this is called audiation. It's my personal understanding just from hearing. If you're interested in learning to audiate music for yourself and play piano with your audiation skills, Take a look at my piano course, Play and Sing in Harmony. There's a link in the description. 